Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I have an unhaul and a haul for you. I am going to the used bookstore. I am bringing the books that I have in this tote. This is my tote that I put all the books that I don't want to keep anymore and I throw them in this tote and then when the tote gets, it's not full, it's, it's, um, it has a few in here. I must have like about 10 books that I'm bringing today. Um, I will bring them to the used bookstore and I will get credit for more books that I can bring home. So, um, these uh, books I'm going right now. So these books are gone already and I will sh add to my haul when I get there. Um, I will do a video of what I pick up. Uh, so anyway, so let's go through what I have in this bin and share with you why I'm giving these things away. So the first book I see in here is a duplicate. I already have this one and I hauled this one from the library sale. So I have Impulse by um, Ellen Hopkins and this is a duplicate. So I already have this another copy on my shelf. So I'm getting rid of this one. I have not read it yet. So that's the first book. The second book that I have in here is um, a book by Jessica Brody. It's called Unchanged. And I have, this is the soft cover. I have a, a hardback, so I'm getting rid of, rid of the soft cover because it's a duplicate. So that's what happens when I go to the library sales. I wind up picking up books and I bring them home. And if I only pay a dollar for the book, it's not that bad that I could exchange it for something else. So the next book, um, is also a duplicate. I have Deal Breaker by Harlan Coben. So yeah, duplicate. So getting rid of that one. Okay, here is a nonfiction book that I read and it wasn't that great. It was a three star for me and I am not going to reread it. So uh, The Gifts of Imperfection, I'm getting rid of it. Uh, someone else can read it and get some benefit of, out of it. So I gave it three stars. It wasn't, it wasn't too, wasn't it was okay it wasn't very impressed that i would read it again so i'm getting rid of it okay the next book in here i have a duplicate so yeah i belong to books of the month club and they gave me a book of the month club freebie but i already ordered this i already read it i think i gave it four stars this is Jillian Flynn, The Grown Up. It's a very, very short book. Um, but I'm keeping the um, the one that I got for free. And I'm going to, going to bring this one to the library, um, used bookstore and trade it in. Uh, yeah, so this is my copy that I pre-ordered. It's really, really tiny. It's a book about ghosts. Um, it was good. Um, gave it four stars, I think. Okay. The next book... I didn't really like it, so I'm getting rid of it. It's Shadow and Bone, I know. <laughs> I just read this last month, and I think I gave it two or three stars. This is book one, I'm not gonna reread it. Um, I may read the next one, because I heard it gets better, uh, but I'm gonna get rid of the first book, so that's this one. Okay, uh, the next one is a duplicate. I have, actually I have the bind up, and I'm getting rid of the duplicate. So the duplicate is called Bang by Lisa McMahon, and this one is a hardcover. I'm going to get rid of it, so that's that. Um, I have a classic. I found, uh, I found my uh, book. I was looking for Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Well, I have two copies now, so I'm getting rid of this one, and yeah. I'm going to keep the other one that I got. I think I got the one with the movie cover on it. So I'm going to keep that one and get rid of this one. So that's this one. And the last book that I have in here, I don't know if she's going to take this because it is a hardback and it is nonfiction. It's the teen health book. I don't think I'm going to read it. Um, so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, my friend gave this to me and I don't think I'm going to read it. It's hard covered. She usually doesn't take hard cover back, but we'll see. So I'll bring it. If not, she donates it to the library. So that's it that I have today that I am bringing to the used bookstore. And I will get some credit to buy more books. So stay tuned. Well, I'm back. I had a $50 credit 
and then I brought those books back and then I had an $80 credit and I only had a half hour to shop so uh, my daughter was with me and she's like mom hurry up mom hurry up mom hurry up so I only used some of my credit I still have $50 in credit still at the store um, I spent $20 so I have seven books to share with you uh, what I picked up um, yeah it was very hard I did have a list when I went there and the list that I had uh, they didn't have any of the books on the list because they were all brand new and they don't carry brand new they have a few brand new books but they just didn't have those then I had another list uh, with me and of course they didn't have those so I wound up getting other books that weren't even on my TBR so here we go okay seven books uh, of new stuff and I'm just gonna share with you what they are and I didn't bring my glasses up so let's see if I could do this uh, without my glasses so let's see okay so I have a bag here uh, seven books I'm gonna share with you how I did it so I'm gonna take the first one out and this book is a chunker of a book um, the reason I was talking to my husband the other day and I said to him what's your favorite Stephen King movie now he doesn't read books so but he does watch movies and he said his favorite movie and I didn't have that book and I didn't read the book so I think I saw the movie but I didn't read the book so I wound up getting the book anyway I got the stands by Stephen King it's a fat of a chunk of her book this will take me about a year to read but <laughs> I do now have it for my collection I do like Stephen King he writes horror books uh, so we'll see if I like it when I was um, checking out the lady said to me wow this is an old one and I said yeah my it's my favorite my husband's favorite movie so I'm like okay so I'm gonna try to read it so that's this one okay <laughs> long story there okay so then I was walking around of course they didn't have the books I wanted so I wound up picking up just looking around and seeing what would call out to me so um, I found a nonfiction book and I wanted to learn more about 9-11 so I picked up 102 minutes um, this is by uh, Jim Dyer and Kevin Flynn and this is about the Twin Towers and it says an untold story of the flight to survive inside the Twin Towers. And they had two different versions and I like this version uh, the best. It does have the Twin Towers, if you could see really, you could see the Twin Towers there. Um, and uh, I like this version and I also like the side. So, and it has the Twin Towers on there. So when I put it on my bookshelf, I could see it. And this is a nonfiction book. And this has a lot of, um, I was reading on the back. Let's see if I can read a little bit on the back, if I could see it. Okay. Um, it says, by 8.46 a.m. on September 11, 2001, uh, 14,000 people uh, had arrived at the World Trade Center's Twin Towers, ready to start their work day. Instead, over the next 102 minutes, each would become part of a drama for the ages. In 102 minutes, uh, Jim and Kevin draw on hundreds of interviews with rescuers and survivors, thousands of pages of oral histories, and countless phone, email, and emergency radio transcripts to tell the story of September 11th from the inside looking out. From the words and deeds of ordinary men and women, they weave an epic account of a struggle, determination, and grace. Held upon its hardcover publication as the definitive account of the events at the World Trade Center, 102 Minutes now contains a new afterward that incorporates powerful first-hand material including tapes and documents recently obtained by the authors after years of litigation so yeah so this is nonfiction, and i wanted to learn more about it so i picked this one up okay so after that i went into fiction so the rest are all fiction okay so the first fiction i picked up in the new releases um is a karen slaughter book 
I know I tried to read Karen Slaughter before and she cursed throughout the whole book and it got me really upset and I put the book aside. But <laughs> I figured I'd try another one. So I got The Kept Woman by Karen Slaughter. So I'll follow her anywhere. And this is by uh, Jillian Flynn quoted that on the bottom. So uh, this is one of her new ones. And the, the book that I was trying to read was Pretty Girls. That's on my DNF shelf. Um, I will try to read it again, but um, I don't like having cursing throughout the whole book, like at me. So I'm like, uh, but I will try again. So um, yeah, so I picked this one up. Okay, I don't even know what it's about, but it was on the new releases and that's what I found. Okay, so walking through the fiction section, um, I found another book. I just pulled this off the shelf, and I really like the cover, so that's mainly why I picked it up. I have no idea what it's really about. So, the book is called The Surrender. Surrendered. Surrendered. I'm sorry, Surrendered. And it is by Cheng Ray Li, and um, it says, The Most Ambitious... The most ambitious and compelling novel of his already impressive career. A grippy and fiercely, fiercely, I'm sorry, I can't see, <laughs> imagines work. So, yeah, I really like the cover. There's a little girl on there, and I thought it was really intriguing. This is what I saw on the shelf. Um, and when I pulled it out, I was like, this is really look, looks interesting. And I just picked it up, and I wanted to read it. And let's see what it says on the back. Here's a quote from Oprah Winfrey. And it says, a landmark novel about love and war, impossible to put, put down. So there you go. I just picked it up and it says it right there on the top. Yeah, pretty interesting. And that's why I picked this one up. So, okay. So going on to the next book. The next book was on the end cap. And um, it is a kind of a new release, and it's a hardcover. I got This Is Your Life by Harriet Chance. I'm sorry. I said that wrong. This Is Your Life, Harriet Chance is the name of the book, and the author's name is Jonathan Everson. Sorry about that. But I thought this was really interesting. I'm assuming that it is about a boat crash or something. So I don't really know, um, but I ju just thought it was uh, really neat. And the quote on the top says, a terrific novel, funny and moving, wistful and wise. Uh, Everson's writing crackles on the page. So I think it's a funny book. So, <laughs> so that's why I picked this one up. And uh, I think it has something to do with a boat, but I'm not sure. So yeah, that's why I picked this one up. Okay, so the next one, now the next two, I have two more books, and the next two books were in the mystery uh, thriller type books, so I picked up two of them, and the first one is the first book of a uh, series, it's Karen Rose is the author, and I picked up I Can See You. And this one, it says, spine tingling, Rose keeps the action popping. Yeah. So I hope she does because, um, yeah, I'd really like to try to read this and see if I like it. So this is book one of a series. So she did have the other series, but I'm only buying the first one because sometimes I don't like the first book and I'm not buying the rest of the series until I read it. So yeah, I can exchange this for the book too. Okay, so the next book in here is an author by, and it was on the same section of Karen Rose's book, and the author's name is Laura. So I picked up Laura K is the author, and I got Hard As It Gets. And I'm not, I'm judging by the cover, I think that it might be erotica, but it was in the same section as the thriller mystery. So yeah, so we'll see. I don't really know. It just says a hard ink novel and it has something to do with tattoos. And on the bottom, J.R. Ward says, edgy, sexy, and full of suspense. So yeah, so we'll see if I like that or not. So these are the books that I got today, adding to my collection. And thank you for watching. 
and I will see you in another video. Bye!